Together we prosper. Some thoughts next on your liver. Hello, I'm Mark Harrison. To be sure, during the early years of the labor movement in our country, discrimination was a factor. And to some extent, especially in certain trade unions, racism existed longer than it should have. But in today's environment, it is a fact that union contracts don't see race and don't see gender. A contract is negotiated with employers, and it doesn't contain special clauses about differences in people. Everyone makes the same wage and enjoys the same benefits. Studies show that minority men do better when they are in a union as compared to those who are not. And women, as well, are shown to receive unquestioned equal pay when in a union, and in fact are shown to have more and better health and retirement benefits as a group than those with four-year college degrees who are not in a union. Much of our politics today have become so raw and so divisive that we have lost sight of the fact that when people come together in America, great things can happen. If we continue to practice hatred and spend our precious energies bashing one another on social media, we are missing the point. Have you noticed how the billionaires all read from the same script? There's a reason for that. They understand that standing as one garners a feeling of destiny. But there is strength in numbers. And should the middle class of this country ever come to realize its collective strength, it will begin to reverse the caustic damage of the past 40 years and will begin to see the promise of great things happening in the workforce. I'm Mark Harrison with your Liberty Minute.